Okay, here we have um, a mock-up of the Alexa Studio. The Alexa Studio is um, our um, yeah, top product in the lineup of Alexa cameras. It's the Alexa with an optical viewfinder, a mirror shutter, and it has a full 4x3 sensor. So here you see we have an anamorphic lens on it. Um, the functionality, uh, the, the electronic functionalities will be the same like with the Alexa Plus. If I turn it around here, you will see that it has the same integrated lens control system like the Alexa Plus. Um, yes. It will be available by the end of this year. So in the Alexa Studio, we are using the same sensor like in all Alexa cameras. The only difference is that in the other Alexa cameras, we are using a 16x9 area, reading a 16x9 area of the sensor, whereas in the Alexa Studio, we are using the full 4x3 sensor area. We are using 2880 by 1620 pixel in the standard Alexa and the raw, the raw pixels. Um, well, and, and um, we are using vertically more pixels in the Alexa Studio. If we want to uh, shoot anamorphic on the Alexa Plus, for example, we can of course also do it. However, we only have the 16x9 area. We could use uh, 1.3x um, squeeze lenses or 2x squeeze lenses. Um, another news on this exhibition now is that we will um, launch a new um, software um, for the Alexas, so uh, it will be a paid software, uh, a paid feature, and that is an anamorphic de-squeeze uh, in the electronic viewfinder. So we have this already in one of the, our um, cameras here at the show, and it will be available in the next software update package. On all Alexas, the anamorphic de-squeeze uh, mode for the electronic viewfinder will be available as a paid software feature. Um, on the Alexa Studio, we have an optical viewfinder. And you can swing in uh, uh, an optical element which can de-squeeze um, uh, the anamorphic image on the optical path. However, um, if you don't want to use the optical viewfinder with Alexa Studio, you can also remove it and attach an electronic viewfinder that can be useful under certain uh, circumstances.